And the BAFTA goes to Meryl Streep. I couldn't have done this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, somebody once said, I think it was Margaret Atwood. Actually, I always say it was Margaret Atwood, but I, I don't even know if she said this. <laughs> but somebody once said, the fate of the well-known is to be misunderstood. And um, the ambition of this film, The Iron Lady, was to look at the life of the Iron Lady from the inside out and to locate something real, maybe hidden, but truthful in the life of someone that we've all decided we all know everything about already. And I'm very proud of the film, and I owe so much to Phyllida Lloyd, Abby Morgan, Cafe, Damien Jones, uh, for sticking with this, for asking and expecting so much of me. Um, I want to thank the soulful Jim Broadbent, the divinely gifted Olivia Coleman, my beloved moths, all 300 beautiful actors and crew that worked on this wonderful film. And to say that half of me is Streep, but the other half is Wilkinson from Lincolnshire. So I come by it, honestly, this part. Thank you very, very much. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Oh. Prince Charming tried the slipper on and it fitted Cinderella at once. What a happy ending. <laughs>